people so i am heading off to the isle of wight today and i'm very very excited but as you can probably hear i i woke up this morning ill so <coughs> which is <coughs> see which is the worst timing um but i'm heading there today i'm about to leave in about five minutes but i thought i'd jump on and say hello so i'm so excited i'm so so excited but i'm really tired and I don't feel great. Um, I'm not actually going until tomorrow. I've only got one set of tickets, but I'm going down today, staying in a hotel, going to watch uh, Biffy Clyro, and then coming back on Monday. And I'm so excited, but at the moment, I'm dreading all the traveling. Like, it's a really long day of traveling today. So I've got to get a train from, I've got to get to London, then from London to Portsmouth, then from Portsmouth to the Isle of Wight, and then from the ferry port to my hotel, which I didn't realize when I was booking it, it's literally the other side of the island. So it's gonna be a long day of traveling. I won't get there until about half five, six o'clock, I don't think, maybe later. But, um, and it's like 11 o'clock now. So it's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be really good. <laughs> once I'm there, it's just all of like the logistical shit I don't wanna deal with. But once I'm actually there and at the festival, it will be amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna go for now, but I'll see you in a bit. Welcome to London Waterloo Station, where I am waiting for my train to Portsmouth. Uh, it's due at half one, and it's just gone one o'clock, so um, yeah, just, I'm just waiting here. I think I might go get some food for the train. Uh, journey's been fairly standard, although the moment on the tube, where I was just like, oh, you're all in my personal space, which I didn't enjoy, and I'm normally not like that on the tube. Anyway, uh, my voice is coming back a bit, so I'm feeling a bit better, but I'm a bit more traveling to hold. And I'm not sure if that's because I've got a temperature chat or if I'm just a little bit sweaty, but yeah, so I'm going to go for now, but I just thought I would just keep with you lot. sunny Portsmouth except it's not sunny it's dreary as fuck and um, I'm just waiting for my ferry now it's four o'clock it's half three so I've got about 15 minutes before we start boarding and I'm really hoping I'm in the right place but I'm not sure I'm like a good sort of 70% sure but basically I've decided that I'm not allowed to organise anything ever again um, because I have made this so much more difficult than it needed to be like so much more difficult booked my ferry to go from Portsmouth to Fishbourne. Oh, I think that's the ferry coming in now, actually. Oh no, that's going to France. Um, <coughs> yeah, I booked my ferry to go from Portsmouth to Fishbourne when actually ride is much easier and the station for ride is much easier. So I've had to walk from the train station for about 10, 15 minutes, which isn't that bad, to be honest, to come to the car ferry port when if I'd booked to go from ride, the station is literally part of the train station. So, fuck that. Also, <coughs> my hotel is actually really quite far away from the venue, like the, the park, so I've just made this a lot more difficult than it needs to be. It's going to be, it's going to be fine, it's going to be great. I'm going to have a really, really good time, but I just want to get all of this shit traveling, like logistics part out of the way. Also, my hair is mad, I'm not dealing with it. Um, so I can just get to the festival now and enjoy myself but even tomorrow there'll be stuff like I'm getting the bus to the venue and I'll be getting it back depending on the time so it's just it's all of the admin -y stuff that I don't want to deal with and today is basically an admin day and I'm moaning and it'll be really good but at the moment I'm having a whinge um, and you poor people are on the receiving end of that I was the only foot passenger and they let me on first so <coughs> I'm literally just watching on the cars load, cars load and the whole vibe is very creepy and murdery so I'm a bit out of breath I've just dropped charged my suitcase up like four flights of stairs so yeah it's a bit um it's a bit like the shining hotel kind of vibe just very very creepy Hello, so I have arrived at last. I am checked into my hotel and as you can see, the uh, decor is very Nana 1970s chic, but it's literally a place for me to rest my head. So 
is fine um <coughs> it literally i i don't even know what time it is i um i left my house at 10 to 11 and i have just walked in and it is six o'clock so it has taken me seven hours to get here um in fairness i don't make things easy for myself like i booked the wrong ferry my hotel's really far away but um it's okay i'm here and that's all that matters and tomorrow i'm going to the festival so that'll be really fun so now all i have to do really is um just chill like just relax i'm gonna go in search of dinner i think um although maybe not yet i might give it a little bit sort of go out maybe seven o'clock and just have an hour where i might watch game of thrones because i've only got two episodes left so and i did start watching one on the train down here but i fell asleep three times actually i kept waking up and falling asleep so it's like uh half seven now yeah 20 to 8 and i have basically been lying like this uh since i got into my room uh just over an hour ago so i need to go and find food and it's really sunny outside the view i've got is quite nice i don't have like a proper sea view but i kind of do i'll show you it when i can be bothered to get up but um yeah i need to go find some food and i just can't be bothered i could literally <coughs> like wash my face get in bed and go to sleep but i'll regret it if i don't eat um but yeah i've literally spent the last like hour and a bit watching try guys videos on youtube and i have no real desire to change that um but i should eat so i'm gonna have five more minutes and then i'm going to brush my hair and go outside <laughs> and be among real people yeah i'm really not in the mood to do anything as you can see but i should eat and I'm also by the sea, so I should go get fish and chips, really. It's the done thing. Anyway, see you in a bit. So I'm looking a bit more human than when you last saw me. Uh, I've made it outside. And it's actually such a beautiful evening. So it's only just sort of like 20 past day, and it's completely dead. Like, everywhere is really silent. But, uh, yeah, Sandown's actually a really nice place. It's, um, <clears throat> it's very, very cute. Um, lots of old people staying at my hotel. Which is quite nice actually because they were all like, oh, hello! So yeah, so just going for a walk. I was going to look in town for somewhere to eat but literally everything is closed. So I will have to brave the steep hill and go to the pier. I'm also walking past the prettiest house. It's sky blue. I won't show you though. Look at this beautiful, beautiful view. God, there is something about being by the sea that just makes me feel like everything is right with the world. There's something about listening to the waves that just makes me feel completely at peace. Good morning lovely people. Um, as you can tell from my croaky morning voice and uh, the general state of me, I've just woken up, actually I've slept a little bit today. Um, it's just gone nine o'clock, but that's okay. Um, I, the, the gates don't open until 12. Uh, it's going to take me about an hour to get across the island anyway, so I think it's fine, I'll leave about 11. Um, but it's absolutely pissing down with rain. Look. Which is fine, I'm prepared. I have wellies, I have a pack mac It's fine, I was expecting it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to have a cup of tea. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about breakfast. I might wait until I get there just because I don't normally eat first thing in the morning anyway. But um, yep, yeah, first tea and then a shower. I'm so excited. I know I don't seem like it because I'm very tired, but I'm really excited. Excuse the mess I've made, but I am festival ready. Wellies. So yeah, I'm off now. Bye. So I'm just in Newport now. I have spent an hour and 20 minutes on the bus and had a driving tour of the Isle of Wight and it's really really beautiful but after I'd been on there for about 45 minutes I was thinking have I just stayed on the same bus and gone round and round in circles um, so yeah, now I'm just looking for the shuttle buses so I can actually get to the festival um, I'm supposed to meet my friend Alex at 12 but luckily uh, she has had something to do and I've been held up which is why this <laughs> hasn't been 
as big of a problem. Anyway, I should go because I'm at a pedestrian crossing. All right, bye. Right there is the bus I needed. Shit. I found the place where I need to be, um, which is over there, but I'm going to go and get some food because I've just missed a bus and it's suddenly hit me how hungry I am. So there's a Morrison's there on a list there, so I'm going to go and grab like a little snack before I head over to the festival. I'm very excited, but it's suddenly got very cold. So it'll be fine once I'm there. <laughs> I'm so excited now, I am buzzing. I'm here and it is muddy and it is windy, but I'm so happy to be here because it took me three hours to get here. How cool is that? Really glad I wore my wellies. I've got these like little signs for Instagram and stuff. There's Abbey Road and Sesame Street. How cool is that? At the merch stand, and I think I want that one. I've been here for about half an hour. Um, I just bought my Vicky t-shirt. I get a t-shirt at every gig or festival I go to. Um, apart from at Sam Dunk, when I didn't, because the only t-shirt they liked I already had. So, just bought a Biffy t-shirt, it's very cool. Um, I'm very pleased with it. And uh, now I'm just sort of having a mosey round. And um, I'm waiting to hear from Alex, actually, but uh, other than that, I'm having a really nice time.
Tonight